it's getting late. Got it all, babe. Save arms when you're ready. All right, so I'm headed into court this morning. Um, I'm sort of dressed <laughs> and I'm rushing. So this is about all you're gonna get from me <laughs> leaving the house this morning. <laughs> So yeah, I'm in the car. Um, <laughs> I'm just about ready to go. I'm going to pull up my directions because a lot of times when I'm going out of town, um, you know, I've got my directions on so that I can keep up with where I'm supposed to be and also tracking the time and how far along I am. So it gives me a good idea of just my progress, making sure I'm on time, y'all. Got to be on time. All right, so this is the courthouse that I thought I was supposed to be in this morning. Turns out they weren't meeting in the courthouse. <laughs> they were meeting in this annex across the street. All right, so let me just break this down for you. You know, I hit the road to get to court this morning. So you always, I know, you know, people are constantly saying they want to be on time. It's not just on time. You got to be early because you got to be able to get past all of the little things that will pop up. And so, yes, the courthouse is behind me, got here early, um, got inside only to be told, actually, I didn't get that far inside. The deputy stopped me and said, hey, you want to be across the street? Because I'm always like, hey, I'm here for uh, civil district court. And yeah, he goes, oh, not going to be in the courthouse, going to be in the annex. <laughs> so I had to go across the street. And I have had that happen before. And I think it's like 10 o'clock and there are church bells ringing. There's a church beside the courthouse. I feel like I need to pray. Um, Alright, let me get back into this. Okay, so um, we'll just have uh, some sound effects in the background. So went into um, the annex, which was really interesting. So they did calendar call for those of you who've never been in court. Calendar call is just where they go through the whole calendar for everybody who's there for whatever matter, just to see who's in the courtroom, who's represented, um, and what the matters are. Because sometimes they're going to be things that are going to be quick and easy. And so some judges will be like, I'll take all the easy, quick stuff first, because then you can get those people out of there. And then you can go back in order to the things that are going to take more time. Yeah, so you'll see a lot of uh, a lot of attorneys do it that way. This got even more interesting because not only did I go from courthouse to annex, but then I went from courtroom to the judge saying, well, we're going to do calendar call in this room. And then we're going to move to the ju to the juvenile courtroom. And so, yep, did calendar call and then went to this tiny, tiny room. I've seen classrooms bigger than that. It was tiny. It, it was it, it was tiny, y'all. It was tiny. So, yeah. So, I'm um, just going to try to keep the light out of your face here. Out of my face. So, yeah. <laughs> um, tiny, tiny room. In any case, we get in there and the judge goes, okay, so I'll take brief matters first. Love her, love a judge who goes in for the brief stuff first because she knows that that's being efficient. She can get people in and out and move through that calendar a lot quicker. And so the other party did show up and we did proceed. But when she said brief matter and the attorneys looked around, I was like, my matter's brief, I'll go first. I went first. You guys always stand up, go first. I'm telling you, you can get in and out and be done and get on with the rest of your day. Like I'm getting ready to do now. Um, I just realized I forgot my earrings. I feel naked. My ears feel naked. All right, so I am um, at the Durham County Courthouse. I actually got um, that phone call. <laughs> there was another attorney who needed me to go file something um, on her behalf. And so a lot of times what you will find in the legal profession and in other professions too is that people look out for other people. And so look, you're paying it forward so that somebody will look out for you one day. It's all it's about. Really understand me. I need a comma like I need a Grammy. She needs the flow with her designer panties. Yeah, we eat penny, check the pantry from the sound waves to the rebel lines from the tattered bridges to expensive dishes. Now we eating ends with these new beginnings. Yet the sign a major for the bank roll. But thank the Lord that it dies at penitentiary. Nice guy, but my inside is in mighty flashy with a bird's eye. Scribble gym.